What are you looking for in applicants across all your degree programs? Well, when I'm talking to applicants, I, I tell them simply there's really two questions that the admissions committee is, is seeking to answer. It's really no more complicated than number one, can you learn what we teach? And everyone is going to have to engage with quantitative methods. So we're, we're going to want to know that people have some fluency in numbers. Obviously, there's lots of reading. Um, you need to be able to get your ideas across uh, in, in a concise way. So, so writing skills are important. But we're not predominantly focused on GPA and test scores uh, in the sense of we're looking for people who are academics. Um, so the question of can someone learn what we teach is both through their academic and professional background, have they proven that we, we think they can, they can learn? And second is, do they fit the DNA of what a Kennedy School student is about? And we'd like to think that that's leadership and service. And so throughout an application, we're going to be looking for people who have engaged in ways to develop their leadership skills and have sought to serve causes greater than their own development. We certainly expect people to do well for themselves um, academically and professionally, but we're also looking for people who've been involved in, in helping others in some way, if it's being involved in an election or being a mentor or spending time at a not-for-profit. Uh, anything that kind of shows a dedication to community or policy issues or a region, something like that, gets us really excited. What about the career changer? Let's say an investment banker has been, you know, working grueling hours and says he wants to go more into a social innovation track. Mm -hmm. Are you still going to... How would you address that individual? What advice would you have for that kind of person? Well, it would really be the, the same type of advice saying you can be very successful in your career and you have a transferable skill set. And so you've been working in, in investment banking, let's say, and earning money for, for other people who maybe already have money. And we had an applicant a few years ago who's telling a story just like that saying, um, I've basically been spending my career helping people with money get more money, and I now want to take those skills and transfer them to uh, the sector where people don't have a lot of money or need help with investments, and I want to develop a not-for-profit that, that focuses on that. Uh, we had another student who had a career in consulting and, and marketing, and she came to the Kennedy School because she wanted to transition to the public sector. And having worked for a consulting firm before coming, she talked about the skills that were transferable and her internship ended up being with the mayor's office here in Boston. And she started a city hall to go program where she transformed uh, a police van into a mobile government office and started engaging with citizens where they live uh, rather than making people come to the government to engage. And so we're looking for people who are creative, who are, are looking to deploy their skills in new ways but there definitely would be a, an advantage for someone who not only says that, but is also backing that with involvement uh, and that can be displayed in the resume and through letters of recommendation.